remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Niger Deltans have described as most welcome the plan by the federal government to finance key economic road projects in the Niger Delta with a proposed 250 billion Naira Sukuk bond. They are optimistic that it will go a long way in addressing the challenge of inadequate funding of major ongoing projects in the region, one of which is the East-West Road Reconstruction and Dualization Project. Speaking during a recent media sensitization program on the proposed 250 billion Naira Sukuk bond to fund key projects across the country, Director General of the Debt Management Office, Patience Oniha, said its funding profile was increased to include capital projects in the ministries of Federal Capital Territory and Niger Delta Affairs. The Debt Management Office boss had observed that inclusion of the Niger Delta Ministry in the Sukuk issuance will address infrastructure gap in the Niger Delta region. There's Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, which uh, has been the only ministry we've partnered with before. Now there's uh, the Ministry of the Federal Capital Territory, and then, of course, the Ministry of the Niger Delta. So, and the funds are all going into roads and projects. The East-West Road is one of the most economically viable roads in the Niger Delta that has been undergoing reconstruction for over a decade due to inadequate funding. In its 2021 budget, the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs stepped down about 345 projects when it committed roughly 70% of its budgetary allocation to ensure timely completion of the East-West Road reconstruction project. However, the project was still faced with a funding challenge given its magnitude. It is against this backdrop that youth activist in the Niger Delta, Ambassador Bright Abali, welcomes inclusion of the Niger Delta Ministry in the Sukuk bond intervention in the hope that it would make more funds available to complete the East-West Road on record time. The federal government have been using the Sukuk bond to complete roads in other regions since 2018, 2020. The funds have been released to different regions on intervention to road projects. The money should also come to Niger Delta and the ministry delivered a long awaited uh, east west road. The road had been long overdue to be completed. For public affairs analyst Ben George Odon, the new strategy adopted to address infrastructure gap in the Niger Delta is long overdue. I think it is good that Federal going to make special fund for the road in Niger Delta cut across the Niger Delta, the sixth state of the Niger Delta. So anything concerning Niger Delta, the federal government will take it at number one priority to bring peace to the re region. The East-West Road connects five major oil-producing states in the Niger Delta and provides access to the nation's economic artery in LME local government area of River State. Project for its reconstruction was first awarded in 2006 but had been stalled due to inadequate funding. Under the supervision of Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godswill Akbabio, substantial progress has been achieved on sections 1 to 4 of the 338-kilometer-long stretch of the East-West Road project. It is hoped that with direct funding from the federal government through the issuance of the Sukuk bond, its reconstruction will go on at a much faster pace for the common good of the Niger Delta region and the rest of the country. Inside the Niger Delta, 